Number 45, you have two part-time jobs. You earn $6 per hour running errands and $5 per hour walking dogs. You can work a total of 10 hours this weekend and hope to earn at least $55. Let R be the number of hours you spend running errands. Red inequality describes the situation. Your inequality should involve only one variable R. This can be kind of tricky because you think, well, there's two variables, aren't there? There's running errands and then there's walking dogs. But here's what we're going to look like. Now, the easy part is if I earn $6 per hour running errands, and we're calling running errands R, the total amount of money I make running errands will be 6 times R, $6 times the number of hours I run errands. But on top of that, I'm going to add the money I make walking dogs. Now, I make $5 an hour, but am I going to put 5 times D for walking dogs? And the answer is no, because they only want this as one variable. Keep in mind, this is the pe part people often overlook. You can work a total of 10 hours this weekend. So you got to think, if I work for one hour running errands, that means I walk dogs for nine hours. If I run errands for five hours, that leaves five hours for walking dogs. But in general, what if you run errands for our hours? How much does that leave for your jobs? And the answer is 10 minus R. If you take 10 hours minus however many hours you spent running errands, that gives you what's left to walk the dogs. So I take 5 times how many hours did I walk the dogs? Well, 10 minus however many I ran errands. This represents the total amount of money I make. I hope to earn at least 55. So I could be more than 55, or I could be equal to 55. And there we go, 45A is taken care of.